Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, so I'm a Churney alum. Did five years at soccer here, and yeah, I did corporate and personal finance. And yes, growing up, I had no faith at all. At the age of four, my sister passed away one night, and no one really knew what happened. So from a really early age, my whole family just blamed it on God. So from as beginning I can remember, it was just, I don't want nothing to do with faith or God or anything. So I just turned to soccer for all of my life. And if I wasn't doing soccer, I was doing other things to just try to find happiness. And when I turned 18, I actually moved to Germany and played professional soccer there. And while I was there, I actually got injured. So I was like, man, this is pretty risky. So I came back to Canada, and I tried, tried to apply different schools. And Training Wrestling West, was the first school that actually contacted me. So I flew out for one practice. And then after that one practice, I was just committed. I was like, I'm coming here. And even now when I think about it, I think it's so crazy because I was probably the least Christian person at the time, and maybe the least Christian person to ever come to Trinity, who knows? <laughs> but yeah, it was just crazy. I was just so committed on coming here. And my first year, nothing really changed in my life. I was playing soccer, doing well, and I got injured, and I was just going back to that same lifestyle of just partying and drinking. And in my second year, it was like the lowest point in my life. I, yeah, it was just... Again, just a lot of partying, drinking, just so much empty stuff. And my mom was just crying one night. She was like, I didn't raise you like this, just like you have to grow up. So my start of my second year, I went to chapel one time, and my whole body just tingled. And I was like, ooh, this is weird. And then I asked one of my buddies, I was like, what does this mean? And he's like, maybe it's God just trying to call you. So that night I just prayed. I said, if God, if you're real, just show me. And the very next day I was studying and I had Good Good Father on my laptop. It was the only Christian song I had, but I just broke down and I just cried for like an hour straight. And it was at that moment I was like, God, you are real. And fast forward six months, I went on a mission trip with the help of your guys' donations. And I met a pastor there who said, I'm not a religious person. I just love God and I want to show people that love. And I was like, that's, that's what I want to do. I love that. So at lunchtime, he asked, who wants to give life to Christ? And I put my hand up gave my life to Christ, and from that moment on, I was just radically changed. I just felt like a weight was just lifted off my chest, and I was just filled with joy, and I would just had so much love and like meaning for life, and I was just on fire for God. I, I just came home, and I would read like four to five hours a day, just because I'd never read the Bible. I was like, who is this Jesus guy? I was just on fire, and like, yeah, it was just amazing, and then you saw the video of Janaea. That was one year after that mission trip. And I actually got to pray for Janae also when she gave life to Christ. And then my brother also. And then two other guys on my team, they found Christ. So, yeah, I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, just thank you for everything you guys do. And the money, it helps Spartan athletics, but it truly does change lives. So thank you. Thank you.